The run to be the next governor of Michigan is starting to heat up, especially on the Republican side. And while James Craig has grabbed a lot of headlines, there's another candidate from the west side of the state who is making some waves. Our Rob Maloney got a chance to sit down and talk with conservative commentator Tudor Dixon. Well, it is that time of year when your television set's going to start filling up with pictures of candidates going around manufacturing facilities like this as part of their campaigns. Republican newcomer Tudor Dixon came here to Trenton Forging today to get a look at this plant, but also she sat down with us one-on-one -on -one to talk about why it is she believes she should be the next governor of the state of Michigan. Looking at what happened with COVID, we said, wow, this state has been just completely annihilated by this governor. A heavy manufacturing plant is like home for Tudor Dixon. Her father owned Michigan Steel in Muskegon, and she spent a decade working for him in the plant, went home to raise family, and then wound up on satellite TV as a newscaster. She says this life experience gives her a distinct edge on the governor when it comes to helping businesses grow. She's never been in the private sector. She hasn't even sat down with these people to try to discuss what they needed. And when they went to her, it fell on deaf ears. She didn't even respond. Education, though, is her most passionate issue. I'm suggesting dollars follow the child. I'm suggesting an education savings account that parents get to choose what's best for their child, whether that is educating them at home, or if that is educating them at a private school, or if that is just having tutoring outside of what they're doing in school already. On the question of whether she thinks the 2020 election was stolen. And what the Secretary of State did, we've never seen do, her do before any Secretary of State, changing the rules right before the election happens, sending the absentee ballot applications to everyone in the state. It gives that opportunity for fraud. We cannot take those risks. Right now, there are 11 candidates in the Republican field. There could be 12 soon. And Tudor Dixon says one of the ways to winnow that field down is to have a Republican gubernatorial candidate debate. So far, one is not scheduled. In Trenton, Rod Maloney, Local 4.